shut up. Sit down. Boy, how exciting. It's time for another game today. Oh, joy. You know, if we were good, I would say we were playing Kansas shitty. But because we are one and eight, I'll just say I hope you guys don't get embarrassed, you fucking blue nutsacks. You want honesty? I'm not going to coddle you jerk-offs anymore. You want respect? Give me 100% of that field every second you're out there, okay? You want to play like lady boys in helmets and pads? Then expect me to blow my nose on your clothes in your lockers while you're out in that field. Understand? Gabish? Capo di tutti capi? Oh, thank God we're playing at home because we play in the road. The field is always uphill and the goalposts are higher and narrower and the wind only blows in our fakes. And then first downs are 20 yards for us and the other team is allowed to use concealed weapons and we aren't allowed to run. Only walk really fast and, 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 and shut your fucking piss-filled mouths. Home, away, what the fuck? The field is the same. Everything is the same no matter where you play. Play the fucking game. Just play it. You can see I'm in no mood for any bullshit. My mother-in-law went to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code capital V-I-C, and bet the over 46 in this game. And I asked her why. And she said, and I quote... Because these are shitheads uh, couldn't stop a fart with a leaf blower. End of quote. So she thinks there'll be lots of scoring. I mean, our defense has given up 51 and 31 back to back. So maybe she has a point. I can't argue with her. Uh, what, what, what can I say about Kansas City? You watch the film in them all week. These fuckers are coming off a bye week, and Andy Reid teams are like 16-2 and two after a bye week, okay? The betting line was 13 and a half points in the beginning of the week. 13 and a half. You guys are getting 13 and a half points at home. The bookmakers have Helen Keller only getting 11. Kansas City has an excellent running game, okay? You know Smith is a very good quarterback who can throw and is very mobile, okay? They have playmakers at receiving positions, but their defense gives up a lot of yards, a lot. So this could be a shootout. That means Eli has to have a good game, which means the running game has to be solid. The receivers have to hold steady. Ingram has to continue his tremendous play, and the offensive line has to pass and run block. And Sullivan has to call a good game offensively. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. One and eight. You're not the Giants. You're the one and eight. Nice. The team logo on your helmets is a piece of shit in a grass skirt. You could finish eight and eight. Yes, you could. Let's play this game today. Let's play this game today first and see what happens. Okay, who will, who will show up? The shits in grass skirts or the big blue Giants? What do you want from me? It is what it is, guys. Play hard, and I'll support you. Win or lose. Give up on me, and I'll sprinkle shit flakes on your food. Get out of here. Go. Be gone. Go get dressed. Go play football. That's what you do. Fucking nitwits.